So for those of you who have been following along with the Martini Mustang, you probably noticed we have like a mid-60s race car theme going. But underneath the car, that's not necessarily true. In fact, one of the major modifications on this car and one of the major upgrades is this new Detroit Speed Engineering suspension. Now we have the front and rear uh, suspension that we've worked with Detroit Speed on. This is actually serial number two. Each one of these aluminum frames actually have a stamping with a serial number. Kyle has number one, of course, on his uh, 66 Fastback, and this would be number two, which is very, very special. Now, you'll see the main component, of course, is this beautiful cast piece, which is our main foundation of the whole suspension. There is fasteners that go through the frame rails to an upper part of the cradle, which is a welded-in steel platform, and then an aluminum piece that mounts the upper control arm that has this very, very amazingly cool uh, adjustable program where you can loosen a bolt, rotate, the, uh, basically it looks like a star instead of teeth, and lock it down so you could have multiple suspension settings like your, your track day setting and your drive around on the street setting and go from one to the other easy with loosening a wrench moving it and tightening it back down. So underneath you got a really good shot of the sway bar, which is a splined like sprint car style, extremely heavy duty arms, uh, tubular upper and lower control arm. Now up here also is the Corvette spindle that Detroit Speed has lightly modified for their own purpose, but it fits all of the Corvette brakes if you wanted just stock vet brakes or uh, Bear or Willwood uh, all have kits that'll go onto this spindle. DSE also has their own rack that they've developed to work with their suspensions, but an amazing, amazing piece. Little bit of work to get in, but their directions are really good, so if you take your time and pay attention, you can get it in. Kyle has also told me, if memory serves me right, that this front suspension is actually lighter than the factory stuff, so you get some uh, lighter weight in the nose and an extremely high quality suspension. Amazing looking stuff.